This set of slides is about elasticity and this specific presentation is about the definition of elasticity and an explanation of how economists use this concept. Elasticity is the measure of responsiveness or sensitivity. It explains how responsive a dependent variable is to changes in an independent variable. Types of elasticity that we will look at include price elasticity of demand, income elasticity of demand, cross elasticity of demand, and price elasticity of supply. For example, for a car salesman, the dependent variable, in other words, the variable that he would like to predict, is the sales of his cars. In other words, the quantity demanded of the cars that he sells. His sales will depend on a number of independent variables, such as the consumer's income, the prices of the cars, etc. A knowledge of elasticity of demand will enable him to make predictions about changes in sales when these independent variables like consumers' income, the prices of the cars, etc. changes. Why do economists use elasticity? They use it to predict direction of changes as well as magnitude of changes. If, for example, there is a change in the price of a product, we would like to be able to predict by how much quantity demand it will change and in what direction it will change. We would also like to be able to predict by how much quantity supplied will change due to a change in price as well as the direction of the change. When there's a change in income, we would like to predict by how much quantity demanded of a specific product will change and in what direction it will change. We can also look at a change in the price of one product and how that will affect the quantity demanded of another product and the direction of the change in the quantity demanded of the other product. Economists also use elasticity to compare the price sensitivities of different products. Let's say we have a producer that produces coffee and it has different brands. It has a cheaper brand called Cheap Cheap and a more luxury brand of coffee called Lux Coffee. Suppose there's a change in the price of Cheap Cheap, it increases the price of Cheap Cheap. That will result in a decrease in the quantity demanded of cheap cheap. Now, how is this going to affect the profits of the producer? We're unsure about that. The increase in price will increase the profits, but the decrease in the quantity demanded will decrease profits. So, by how much profits change is going to depend on the price elasticity of demand of cheap cheap. So if the price of Lux coffee changes and there is maybe no change in the quantity demanded of Lux coffee because the people who buy it buy it before they because they prefer that specific brand of coffee, that will mean that profits will definitely increase. So we can see that if we compare the elasticities, price elasticities of the demand of the two products, it will probably be, be wiser for the, this producer to increase the price of Lux coffee if it wants to increase profits. Governments may also use information on elasticities to take decisions on the introduction of taxes. Suppose the government is thinking about introducing a tax on petrol. That will increase the price of petrol. But because petrol is a necessity, it's something that people have to buy, 
the quantity demanded will probably not change or only change by a little. So the government will be able to generate quite a lot of taxes from introducing a tax on petrol. That is because demand for petrol is inelastic. Quantity demanded does not react a lot to a change in the price. If we compare that to imported jewellery. If the government introduces a tax on imported jewellery, the price of that jewellery will increase. The quantity demanded of imported jewellery will probably decrease by a lot. Jewellery is not a necessity and it's also possible to replace the imported jewellery with locally produced jewellery. We can say that this is an elastic demand and if government introduce a tax on this, they will probably not raise a lot of money.